Uh, he lied about a lot of things. Um, one being that he has a girlfriend. Another being that he was engaged. Another being that he was talking to four other girls. Another being that he was not who he said he was at all. Catfish. A person who pretends to be someone they're not by using Facebook or other social media to create false identities, particularly to pursue deceptive online romances. Three months ago I had an interaction with a person who claimed to be a drug dealer, gangster, and millionaire. He told me wild stories of his nights with friends, family, and other people he said he couldn't name, as well as stories of people he had murdered and gravely injured in the past. He began talking to me after I accepted his friend request on Facebook and he acted like he knew me by asking questions like how old are you now and how is your old boyfriend. At first I went along with it just trying to have fun, but quickly the relationship between us grew like wildfire. He somehow found my number, started texting me, calling me, and talking to people about me. One night he called me saying he was in deep trouble and he had to flee to New York with a stolen Camaro. He began talking about how he was involved in the black market and street racing and how he had been to all the countries in the world. I started asking him questions regarding his businesses and he had very sketchy and irrelevant answers. So I began asking him if he had ever been to Pratisere, a made up country I said was near France. To which he replied, oh yeah, it's gorgeous there. I started getting a little freaked out at the fact that he had my number and looked up his police records online. I found that he had two felony records, one being possession of paraphernalia and the other being schedule two felony possession, which means he was found with anything from opiates to depressants which are usually oxycodone, cocaine, and LSD. But this documentary is not about my story. It's about yours. I've, I've been approached at South Point by a guy who wanted to take me out to dinner and he was really nice but I found out a lot of the stuff he said was just a bunch of lies. He started me on Facebook um, and it was kind of weird because his mom started getting involved when I didn't know him at all and she messaged me on Facebook saying hey and she sent me a friend request and I didn't know this lady at all. I was at my friend's house and, um, hold on, cut, I have to think of what I want to say. Um, I, I Did he ever tell the truth? Did he ever come out, or like, was there mm -hmm. ever like a he, 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 was, he was found out by his girlfriend because I, I was at my friend's house and I just got a bunch of angry texts going on my phone and I ended up spending most of the night talking to her on the phone explaining what had happened and uh, she was very understanding about the whole thing. It was mainly his fault. I found out that she had been financially supporting him for months and he's been um, basically just going off to play golf every day willy-nilly with her money and just hitting on random girls at South Point. He also lied about his age to me too. How old did he say he was? He said it was like he just turned 20 or something like that. And he also lied about his girlfriend's age. She was 24. I've accepted many friend requests from people I don't know. Have any of them tried to approach you online? Yes. <laughs> A lot of them. They just message me on Facebook and they're just like, hey, what's up? And if they, I usually I don't respond, but um, they'll like continuously message me like, hey, what's up? Even when I haven't replied. I've gotten one once where they, they messaged me seven times in a row over the course of a few months and I never responded to them. I think they're, I feel like eventually people 
just don't want to believe that the other person isn't real because I mean you go for a long time without video chatting something's up so you would like there would be a red flag there I mean do your thing but just be careful I think it's wrong to lie to somebody and falsify the truth because in the end it's just not going to work out if you lie.